So tell me a little bit about um, kind of the experience that you shared with folks here today uh, with the Boston Marathon bombing. So in six years ago, I was uh, one of the survivors of the Boston Marathon bombing. I was three feet away from the first bomb that went off, and my son was with me. And basically, the decision to place him on my feet at last minute, um, where we were spectating, ultimately ended up saving his life. So I took everything in the back of the legs, the torso, and the left hand, and that's what shielded him. Um, and so, you know, what I really want wanted to bring to Dubuque today is just a message of hope and no matter what kind of bombs go off in your life and what you're facing it's it's what you do afterwards and, and the joy and the gratitude that you feel because you're alive to face another day and for me that decision is constant it's you know wanting to count my blessings and not my problems and so the ladies here today you know they they're going through a lot in their own lives and we may never know what people are really going through whether or not we um, it's it, it's it's depends, sorry, on us to be vulnerable enough and transparent enough to share that with people. And so that's really what I try to do. I try to tell my story in a very raw and real way so that people can resonate. And I hope that people did resonate with, with the different parts that apply to their lives and just, you know, gives them hope to, to face whatever battles that they're going through and, and just to see the beauty and, and everything that's surrounding us daily.